So the Building Code of Australia is not it complies with the Building Code of Australia does not necessarily mean compliance with the Work Health and Safety Act. We actually had quite a few recent in incidents, um, uh, particularly here in Victoria, uh, in relation to buildings that might have been certified as being compliant with the Building Code of Australia, but later um, um, we've worked out that may, they may not be um, uh, uh, safe uh, in terms of the Work Health and Safety Act. Well, the Work Health and Safety Act uh, imposes statutory obligations that cannot be outsourced or cannot be contracted out of. Um, and so therefore, in a sense, the Work Health and Safety Act takes precedence um, if there was a conflict in relation to requirements. Building Code of Australia might be indica indicative of the minimum requirements in relation to st structure, structural integrity and um, uh, fire safety requirements. But even there, uh, if the building is unsafe from a fire safety perspective, uh, for the purpose of the Work Health and Safety Act, the fact that you have a certificate of occupancy will not be defence in relation to the Work Health and Safety Act.